This is the 14th video in our series looking at how to complete a basic setup and configuration of a Synology network attached storage device, or as they're more commonly referred to, a NAS. In a previous video, we set group permissions for each user account on our Synology NAS. This in turn allowed our users to have access to the network shares that we created. So in this video, we're going to test that we can access our shared folders by reviewing how to connect to an SMB share from a Google Chromebook. As you can see here, we are currently viewing the Chrome OS desktop. So let's start by first opening files. Within files, because Chrome OS was not originally designed to access SMB shares, there is no option to browse our home network. However, if we select Add New Services, and then from the drop-down menu select Install New from the Web Store, when the Web Store opens, you will find that there are a couple of different services that will allow you to access your network shares from within Chrome OS. At the time that we posted this video, the first option, Network File Sharing for Chrome OS, would not allow us to connect to the network shares on our Synology NAS. This was a little surprising as this service was created by Google, so we expected it to work. Instead, we found that by using File System for Windows, which is made by a third party, our Chromebook was able to connect to the network shares on our NAS. So if we select Install, the service will first confirm what it will do. Then after selecting Add App, the service is downloaded and installed onto our Chromebook. First, we need to enter the IP address of our NAS into the server host name stroke IP address field. In the server port number field, we need to leave the port number on 445. In the username field, we need to enter a valid username account. And then in the password field, we need to type the username's password. As we're not using a domain name with our NAS, we will leave the NTLM v2 authentication field blank. In shared resource name, we need to enter the name of the folder we wish to connect to. In this example, we are using public. For root directory, we will leave this field blank. If we now select mount, file system for Windows will connect to our public share. From the sidebar, we can now select the public folder on our NAS. As the user account in our example should have read-write access over the public folder, let's now test that our permissions are working correctly by first creating a folder, renaming it, and then deleting that folder from the network share. To disconnect from the public share, if we highlight our share, then right click to display a quick menu, we will be presented with an option called close. When we select close, our Chromebook dismounts from the public share. To reconnect to the public share or to connect to a different share on our home network, if we once again select add new services, we will find that within the quick menu, there is an option called file system for windows. When we select this option, we are once again shown the window for mounting a new file server. Let's try and connect to the share called software on our Synology NAS. From the sidebar, if we now select our software share, we can see the contents of the folder. So to recap, in this video we took a look at how you can use your Chromebook to access folder shares created on your Synology NAS. In the next video in this series, we're going to take a look at the power management options available for our NAS and see if we can make the NAS more energy efficient.